Kamar Rocker and Braylon Wimmer. First pitch swinging right to Jason Gonzalez, Vanderbilt's third baseman, and Rocker's got a quick first out. Driven, but kind of up there getting ready for SEC play to see a fastball up in the zone to finish him off. 97 miles an hour for Kamar Rocker. in the SEC, you mentioned Max, two-way player. Swing and a miss, strike three with the slider. A one, two, three, top of the first for Kamar Rocker. Ends with called strike three. Far drops the breaking ball at the letters. It's SEC pitching. Boulder grounds this one into the six hole. Nice play by George Khalil. Tom. Walked him. Tried to get a 3-2 chase and it didn't work. They get a lot of those balls just put in play. There's a swing and a miss on a cutter in the zone. This one's ripped to right. Thomas makes the catch for the second out. First contact. Swing and a miss, strike three. Heinrich got caught in between and Rocker has his fourth strikeout. He had out to that side. Rodriguez gets a hold of this one to left center. But up in the wind, and Brady Allen makes the catch. Six up, six down for Thomas Farr to start his SEC season debut. And his Burgess lines this one to center. Enrique Bradfield going back, and he makes the catch on the move. Hey, let's see what he comes with here. Swing and a miss, strike three with the fastball. The hitters, but it's really hard to get that barrel on top of it. Back to the leadoff man, Braylon Wimmer, who's retired on a single pitch for the second time. Five strikeouts, the first trip through the order for Kamar Rocker, and just right called strike it. three, wow. Exact same spot, It'd probably be advantageous. There's ball four. Vandy's first base runner is their best base runner. He's going, ball two. Got him! Colin Burgess breaks new ground as the first man to throw out Enrique Bradfield Jr. Yeah, I think they knew that was coming. Bradfield looked like he got a pretty good jump. A heck of a throw there by Burgess from his knees. A strike on a line to get Bradfield out. Did Gonzalez go? Yeah, he did. And just like that, the inning's over. To see some college baseball back on the TV. Yeah, and Ty, I mean, obviously, you, you have the best view of anyone. And like, you know, lighter, he's always on offense, you know, when he's pitching. You know, he's, he's on the mound, getting the sign, ready to go. Clark pops this one up. Playable on the right side of the Vandy infield for Parker Nolan. One, two, three inning for Kamar Rocker. Ty Duvall, so great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course, just the spin rate on that fastball is a little bit extra, and then that big hammer of a slider. COVID really kind of takes some of those big bats out of the lineup as a huge hammer there from Farr. Five strikeouts for Thomas Farr. No hit. Rounds this one up the middle. Nice play by Colwick on the backhand. What a play. Wow. They played Eister a little bit up the middle and actually a little bit more to the pull side. So Colwick was towards that second base bag. Take a look here. I think the ball off of the mound gave it a little bit of extra time to stay up in the air, but on the run, heck of a play there. By Line drive through the shift for the first hit of the ball game. It took us five innings, but South Carolina and David Mendham have the first hit for anybody at the Hawk. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number eight for Kamar Rocker. Cool. Burgess grounds a slow one to Carter Young. Vandy's out of the inning. First hit of the game for anybody goes to David Mendham, but Kamar lines this one for Vandy's first hit. 
fifth inning breakthroughs, a single for both teams. And Good take by Rodriguez, and Thomas goes to second. Rodriguez smokes this one to left, and we finally got a run on the board. One nothing Commodores on an RBI double by C.J. Rodriguez. And in SEC baseball, just the little things are what's going to happen to really capitalize on, on getting those runs. As a fastball, it looks like it was missed. It was supposed to be on the outside corner, kind of ran back in. Rodriguez was able to get his hands extended and get that through. But if you think that that pass ball hadn't happened, you know, Thomas wouldn't have been able to get in the scoring position and they wouldn't have been able to. Kolwick lines this one to center for a base hit. Three straight hits for the Commodores after getting no hit through four and a third. You get in the box, you don't really know what that looks like. Bradfield bunts, far fields it, can't get it out, and Vandy makes it 2 nothing. Enrique Bradfield Jr. creating chaos. Everybody knows Tim Corbin likes to do the safety squeeze with runners in, at first and third, but when you got a guy at the plate like Bradfield who can really run and places that ball perfectly right in that triangle, it just causes so much havoc. Half swing, appeal to first, strike three. Big second out for Thomas Farr, ends the string of four straight hits. It is a heck. Bouncer over Farr's head, Khalil handles and gets Davis at first by a couple steps. But Vandy breaks the ice. Two. Called strike three with the slider. Nine strikeouts for Kamar Rocker. That's one. new. Wes Clark in the four hole. That's also new. He'd been hitting third every game. See if Wimmer can beat this one out, and he does. Second hit and third base runner for SC. Hit to Gonzalez. Going to second. Safe there. Wimmer. Tyus Seitler's up. And he lines this one down the left field line and off the green monster for extra bases. Wimmer scores, and it's an RBI double. First earned run allowed this season by Kamar Rocker. And that was just a good piece of hitting. It wasn't a bad pitch. If anything, it might have been left up just a little bit. But it went the other way with it. And South Carolina able to do something no team so far has done is get a run off of Rocker. Clark grounds this one to third. Gonzalez thought about coming home. Now gets the out at first. Safe at third. South Carolina ties it as Wes Clark gets the job done. Yeah. Swing and a miss, strike three. Rodriguez has to complete the strikeout, and he does. South Carolina answers Vanderbilt's two in the bottom of the fifth. With yeah. Young draws a walk. He's aboard for the first time today. Half swing. Appeal to first. Yes, he did. Bolger not happy with the call, but he's out. Runner going, swing and a miss. And the throw goes into center. Young holds up at second after the steal. Swing and a miss, strike three. Thomas Farr has eight strikeouts, and that's a big one. Swing and a miss, strike three. Went down and away with the slider, 3-2. Oh. Ball four to Mendham. Rocker upset with himself after issuing his second free pass. Grounder to Colwick. Gets the lead man at second. Double play. This might be reviewed. 
But a tough turn, and Vandy at least made it close. Yeah, first base umpire Daniel Cricks took a little bit of time to make that call, but a heck of a play by Colwick going to his left and a quick turn there by Young and a nice pick over there by Nolan. We'll take a look. Yeah, that looks like that foot hit the bag before the ball. Swing and a miss, strike three. Kamar Rocker is fired up, and he's got 11 strikeouts. Ball four. Pitch number 100 produces Vanderbilt's second straight leadoff base runner. Ball four. Four pitch walk, and the Commodores are back to the top of the lineup. Line drive, base hit. Vandy takes the lead. When you talk about opportunities that you got to capitalize on, that's one of them. A heck of a job by the senior, Cooper Davis. Down on the count, fastball, outside corner, stays with it. Khalil just outside of his glove. And the catcher, C.J. Rodriguez, hustling around third. And that's what you need out of your leader at the top of the order. Pretty fired up. To Carter Young. Called strike three. Front door with the fastball, and Peters gets the inning over. But bullpen, see somebody different. Called strike three. Fastball down and away gives Rocker his 12th. Yeah. Swing and a miss, strike three. Slider falls right off the table, and Kamar Rocker. Swing and a miss, strike three. Kamar Rocker strikes out the side with a big smile and a pound of the chest in the top of the eighth. George Khalil looking, Braylon Wimmer swinging, and Brady Allen makes 14 in the game with Bandy up 3-2. Sounds about right. Bolger goes down for the third consecutive A-B. Swing and a miss. Andrew Peters looking good here in the eighth. Feister. Andrew Peters strikes out the side and keeps it a one-run game. Three and do what Luke Murphy has done. Fastball inside corner, heck of a pitch. This is 10 home runs. Four-pitch walk. Tying run aboard for the Gamecocks. Call and into the closer roll. Misses and that one gets away. Tying run in scoring position. Swing and a miss, strike three. Murphy gets a big second out with the fastball. Vandy boys win the SEC opener. Welcome back, SEC baseball. Kamar Rocker strikes out 14, and the Commodores beat South Carolina 3-2. to two.